Hello there adventurers, my name is Chris and today we're going to be having a look at the levels module. The module itself is quite easy to use and fairly straightforward. And when it comes to combat, it's actually great. We already have a character set up here, which is a cat and basically it's going to be trying to travel all across uh, the map between the bow level. The maps are provided by Tom Cartos's, uh well maps. Let's go a little bit in, in a little bit of detail. As you can see, the maps are changing as the characters are, and this module is perfect for combat. However, it does have a couple of limitations. One being the amount of data that is going to be transferred for towards the other players that you're currently be streaming. If you're hosting, it shouldn't be a problem, but you need to be aware of it. Okay, let's go down. Let's go back up. Let's go further up. As you can see, uh, three layers of the map uh, are technically posted one on top of each other and them are swapping easily as the character token goes to a specific spot on the map basically changing that only for him. That being said, let's swap from the player character and go to the Game Master 1 and to show exactly. Let's remove a couple of things. Firstly, let's remove the darkness threshold so we can see clearly. I put some uh, rain ambience, which I did not notice, but let's turn it off because we do not need it. So basically this is how the overall layer of the map is going to look and each level individually will basically contain a different map and a set of stairs. I'm not sure if you notice like here. Okay. Okay. Now we're at the add-on page. As you can see, I don't have it installed. What we're interested in is going to be the levels modules by the Reaper 93. Current version is going to be 3.8.1. It's also going to require couple of dependencies which are gonna be lib wrapper and wall height so I'm gonna select to install them automatically so we don't have any issues there we go okay and let's get back into our wall which I already cleaned a little bit so bear with me okay by the way uh, 3d canvas is also an amazing module okay I already have the um, the map downloaded for uh, from the amazing creator Tom Kratos and I'm simply gonna call it as simple as well mark I have all of um, the size uh, for the map and also let's go very quickly into foundry VTT data um, if you want a very quick way to get the overall sizes you can actually uh, right click properties and you'll simply see exactly so I got 2448 times 1584 basically width and height and also we got a horizontal and vertical resolution of 72 dp, uh, dpi most of the time this sorts any of the grid issues that you might face I already know them down but I wanted to show exactly on how you're able to locate that specific information basic fall path Tom Cartos ground level select save and yes okay I already have the map imported let's go ahead and activate the module in my case it's already activated and let's have a look what we're interested in here is for the players to be able to swap levels very easily and from our side to be as little work as possible and to not make it utterly complicated. Okay, with that in mind, we're gonna be needing a few levels. So we got the market one. So, oh, right. You need to click on the edit market level one. I'm simply gonna copy it and it's gonna be with a zero bottom elevation and a maximum height of nine. I'm gonna be doing uh, the same for the following one with an increment of 10, so 10 here and 19. 
be so 29 and this is gonna be a roof okay right now we have the level one let's add the level two map three and fourth I selected this set of map because they do have quite a few okay at at the tile uh, selector tile controls uh, simply select play style and make sure it matches the overall map. Uh, simply select the second level and create tile. You can also check uh, and also update from here. But if you have the market selected, it should automatically create a tile for this specific um, layer. As you can see, it simply swaps between the two. Okay, third level. Let's create a new tile. Okay, I'm gonna let's do it a little bit different. Okay. It's one square to the offense and I can simply move it in position. Create tile. Move it. Just want to make sure it aligns. There we go. And lastly, the rook. Another way you can actually do it is you simply copy the coordinates or the width and size, which we already noted down. And this was one of the reason I actually did it, but. I wanted to do the old fashioned way, so to speak. Okay, and lastly, the roof, one square off. So, and create that. And I made a mistake here, if you notice it very quickly, I did not swap the, the maps to the roof, and I'm simply gonna do that back. Double click. Or three update. So if I swap one, two, three, and four, the four has nothing. Now let's select the four. There you go. Arrow. There. Okay. Now we're gonna be going directly to the drawing tools. And we find where our problem is. Uh, go back to the drawing, select. I'm simply gonna delete this because this is directly a map in the background. 0 0.9. Okay, so if you go to the drawing tool, if you select the rectangular drawing, it should automatically draw something for you. Let's see. As you can see, it's gonna be having a level stair selector already placed down on it. I really love this since it does simplify quite a bit of things. With, uh, we're simply gonna be tasting it right now. With this token selected, we're simply gonna be going up the stairs and down the stairs. And it seems to be working just fine. As you can see, the elevation is being, uh, being put on top of the token and it works like a charm. Okay, now we have a different problem. I'm not sure if you notice when I imported the map. This one does have three sets of levels. So the uh, bottom level, first level, and the second level. Right now we need a little bit of a s something different. So what we can do is simply like this. Create a square. I'm not interested in this one to be a stair. You can do it as a stair if you mishmash it around, so, so to speak. However, I'm interested more in an elevator uh, system. So basically the players can select on which floor they go to simplify where they need to be. So the, the first level should be exactly at the same elevation as uh, you needed to. 
second level, so far and so forth. You block it with a straight line. It should be next to the tilde mark yeah, on your keyboard by holding shift. So I already have this one set up. Actually, let me do it man. So you got for for the zero elevation, the name. So market floor. The vertical line. Then the following elevation. I'm trying to use my example correctly since it can cause some issues. Uh, first floor. And lastly, 20. Uh, no spaces here for whatever reason seem to work. Second floor. And let's simply update. Did that update? Yes. Okay, so where's our token? If we take our token here, we should have a pop-up. There you go. And it can simply swap between the levels. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in the, in the description below so you'll have some uh, some high, uh, some idea on how exactly it does work. However, this is basically it. At this moment with the drawing tool, we go to the first level and we simply draw the stairs. And right now, if you want to have a combat, oh, okay, this works double because it's basically the same thing. Uh, if you want to combat, you can simply do so very, very easily between multiple layers. Just keep in mind, sometimes if you set lights on different levels, because you can, everything you place on a level, it's going to be individual for that specific level. Uh, so let's create the light here. Uh, let's make it red so we can see exactly what I'm referring it. If I change right now the level, the, this light will disappear. So I need to recreate it. Just keep that in mind. Same will apply with uh, token vision. But that being said, I hope this small tutorial, tutorial was educative and I hope you find some use for it. But I really love it for the simplicity of usage. So kudos for the Reaper guy and also thank you so much uh, Tom Carters for the collection of free maps he keeps offering. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you do, did enjoy.